Which one? I'll play Tetra. Now this, you will hear me click a lot more, I feel like. Oh, now there's a rapid. I'm probably gonna die to Inkjet more than <laughs> everyone else. Sorry to these people, you're probably gonna lose. Although some people also made me lose earlier, so you can't blame me. Ow. Dead. Shot. Ow. Hammer moment. Nice combo. Stand on the top of one more point. Bro. <laughs> Bro, that was our lead. And now it's not happening. And they're all dead. Awesome. Whose idea is it to give them a ball point? Slide on power. Behind them, there's a brush. I'm glad they get distracted by that guy. Oh, we won! Ah, I didn't expect that. I hate sour control. <laughs> oh, Overwatch better. We have a Tetra, which I don't play that often. Pretty cool. <laughs> End of Tetra user moment. It's definitely not true. Oh, that's the Tetra. <laughs> now I'm gonna die. Thanks for watching. I have no idea how to Tetra. Sure, I get my cookie spot, let's go. What die. <laughs> 7 times 32. 21, 22, 22, 4. 224. Two, I'm too quick. Nah, that is just me with my with my multiplication lookup table, which I had memorized since I don't know when. Primary school level two or something. Like grade <laughs> Is it grade grade three grade two or grade three? Around that. I had the memorized already. So it's just a lookup table, it's the fastest thing ever. Do you want to know about hash table? It's a computer data structure that has all one retrieval time. But it's not, you can't sort it, unfortunately. It's not like a binary search tree where you can... Search. Where you can go sort them using binary searching. You know what I should try? This is actually a strat that I may use. Technical explanation doing Splatoon 3 gameplay. It works like every time. Like, as soon as I started explaining stuff, I just suddenly popped off. I should try that more. So I wanna, let's talk more about hash table. Now for hash table, you need a hash function. A hash function is basically uh, an algorithm that translates data into a certain address. And then, because of that, you can, if you have the same data, you can just use the hash function again to get the address. And then you can look it up in the array or the lookup table, as we have established earlier. So it is a O1, which big O notation. If you don't know what that is, it is basically talking about how much time you need for a set amount of data. No, uh, for different amount of data. So it's the com some common variables are n. N is the amount of entries, and basically when we say, oh this this algorithm is ON, that's basically saying it needs to go through the entirety of N entries 
you know, to put something in there. And that's why it is so quick for me to do a multiplication with simple terms. We want. Stop calculating the hash value of text messages. You're not <laughs> assessing the storage medium directly. Well, I am writing to memory. Answers the 99 questions. What? Yeah, you should only force you to 99. That's true. You can, but because it's 7, and you multiplication is basically just you separate the digits to multiply them together separately and then add them again. Why did I memorize? I did not memorize it. I just think you can hear me think about it. I said 21 and then 22, 4. So 21 was 7 times 3. And then 22, 4 is it's 7 times 3 times 10. And then you add 7 times 2. For God's sake, I'm math too hard. Really? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna keep explaining stuff while I play this because it seems to work. How about we talk about binary search tree and the AVL tree? So first of all, let's, let's define what a tree is. A tree is basically a graph. It has a bunch of nodes, but you start with one node and each node has a has some descendants. The descendants, uh, it, you, you don't need to limit it to any amount of descendants. But if we talk about binary tree, then there's two descendants per node at maximum. You can have smaller than that. It's also fine. The, the data structure course was a very fun course. I love it. Nice white. So what what exactly is the data structure? Data structure is just the organization of data. We won. <laughs> Keep explaining. <laughs> Time to talk about routing tables. This may involve graph theory or something. I don't know hash table. What is routing table? Packet switching. I think that's more close to graph theory instead of uh Actually, hash table. Hash table is a lookup table. Routing table is like graph theory plus a lookup table. Now, I know it's networking. It is actually graph theory plus hash table. I just learned about it yesterday from my professor. <laughs> okay. Like, everything in computer science, they are actually just math. Like, computer science is not about programming, it's always the math that is behind every decision. That's why I'm, I'm actually more interested in algorithms instead of intelligence. Like, the math part kind of interests me. Alright, back to the binary search tree. So, we explain a binary tree, we explain, we explain a tree. A tree goes from... It actually goes from... Uh, top to bottom in programming. Yeah, they call it a tree. It's awesome. Oh, binary search tree. Hold on. See, I haven't done it. So, binary search tree is you have to... The data are also in this particular order. Where on the left of a node, all, all, the, all the data on the left of a node is smaller than the node itself. And on the right is bigger than it. So that's actually how binary search works, if you don't know. Fly. Take flight when necessary. Oh, come on. That was cool. <laughs> Wait, we have the lead! Huge! I didn't ever see that. Stand on it. Stand on it. Nice. Oh, four star. Yippee. Yeah, yippee. So when you're in, when you're inserting new entries into wait, I pressed the wrong thing. Technical disconnection. Didn't work. 
Oh, it worked. So when you're inserting, you basically check if this entry is bigger or smaller than the root, then you go down one level, and then you do that again, until you get to somewhere that fits it. But this will result in a problem. If you have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then the tree won't be a tree. Because like every, every new entry you put into the tree, it is larger than the previous entry, so we will keep going to the right side and keep descending of the tree. Uh, it would basically not be a tree at all. It would end up being a, uh, what we call a degenerate tree. Which is basically a linked list. Now, linked list, I have to explain that as well. Basically, linked list is a, a list where you have the first one, and then you can go from the first one to the second one. That's the linked list. <coughs> now, how is, different, how is it different from an array? Is that Arrays are adjacent to each other in in the memory, but lengths don't necessarily have to be that. Lengths is mostly like pointers, so from one so from one node of a lengths, you have a pointer pointing to the next node, and you just chain them together and you get a long lengths. Now, think about that tree I was talking about, the degenerate tree. Everything is basically one-sided, so it becomes a link list. It's a linear link list instead of a tree. And well, it's fine. It's still technically a tree, but it's not useful. It doesn't provide the benefits of having a tree, because tree has a log and an uh, old log and search time. Due to a structure, I'm dead. Just remember every time you descend one node, you basically get, got rid of half the entries. And therefore, it's, realistically, it's actually some constant times log base 2 and the block checkpoint feels bad, man. Wow. So, binary search tree. It's called search tree because you can search with it pretty easily. Or not easy, just more efficiently. Because remember, if you want to search for a certain number, you you look at the root node. And then you see that, oh, this is bigger or smaller, so I should go to the left or right tree. Subtree. And then you go there, you eliminate basically the other subtree. You got rid of half the nodes to care about. I got them, let's go. Flying. Nice white. Anyone on tower? Nice. Okay. But how about a degenerate tree problem? So then someone, three guys together, I don't exactly remember their name. They made a tree, a type of data structure called the AVM tree, which is basically uh, a binary search tree with balancing. So in any for a AVR tree in any node, the left subtree and the right subtree height differs by at most one. Math have shut up? No. This is not math even, this is programming. It is data structure, the arts of organizing your data to do stuff efficiently. I do really love that course. That's some fun stuff. Every some for the fun. Please. God damn it. So to achieve balancing the two subtrees, it's actually very complicated when you insert stuff and delete stuff. They both have extra steps. Because you now have to check which subtree is not balanced, and then you have to do rotations. Okay, that's a special saver. Alright, so much here. The rotations are also fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's very hard for me to explain that with my vocabularies. It's, it's way easier to understand it when you have a 
a diagram of how rotations work. Now think about a degenerate tree with three nodes. So it's basically like this and it's all going to the right side. And you can do a single rotation to make the middle node the first node, the, the root node. And then the left originally root node would be uh, carried down to become one of the nodes of the new root node. And then you get a balance tree. Now the, the tree is height 1. Cool stuff. Where are the people? I'm just confused, Bingley. Now you basically have to check for the heights and then do that rotation thingy until you get a balance tree. Now that is also a double rotation. What I just thought about was a single rotation. Double rotation is a bit... Uh, it's basically two single rotations. Makes sense, right? <laughs> it makes perfect sense that double rotation is is two single rotations. Got him. Oh, too far. So yeah, that's A three three thing. Now there's also B three, which is also like a binary search tree, but with not a binary tree, so there can be more nodes. And like that, B3 still confuse me. Because it's like, I'm dead. Except not, we are dead. <laughs> this looks very high level. It is literally 1600x power in Takoroka. Not very high level. This is although it's the start of the season, so people may still be getting grinding their ranks. I'm currently estimate to twenty thousand. <laughs> Not true at all. And meanwhile, I'm explaining programming concepts while playing this game because I I figured out it's the best way for me to win for some reason. Oh, the harder I explain something the more likely I win. And I literally won one run by explaining hash table. <laughs> and graph theory. Wanna learn about graph theory? So, okay. B tree time. So what is a B tree? I still don't know what the B stands for, so don't ask me about it. It's just called a B tree. Oh, nice way. We win. Nice. So a B tree? In a node, there can be multiple values. You can, you can say order something B3. So like I order 3, I don't remember. It's like a binary search tree, but in a single node, there can be multiple values. And then it's you just compare if the value is smaller, go to the left of that. If it's in the middle of these two values, then go to the another subtree of that. Oh, now I'm gonna get 50, that's sad. We just return to where we started today. Hold on, I have something. I can pull up my notes that I still hand write. B3 explanation. Oh, where did I write that? I did not even write that down. Well, screw me then. I have trees though. Oh, another one. A tree. T R I E. <laughs> It's the tree as in retrieval, apparently. And it can be used for dictionaries. Like, each node is a letter. And then you, and then the descendants are also letters. And, and a descendant where the previous letters can form a word, we mark that as a word. So then when we read to that, we know that that is a word. So that's a tree, T-R-I-E. I think B3 is used in database or something. How about graphs? <laughs> is it graph theory time? It may be graph theory time. So a tree is basically like a special graph. A special type of graph. That's cool. Double. Now get the checkpoint done. Hmm. Checkpoint! <laughs> it's still not done. Good, they're all dead again. Excuse me. 
Can you stop doing that? Okay, so graphs. Graphs there can be direct graphs. And indirect graphs. Like indirect graphs is basically actually just two direct graphs. <laughs> that was cool. I'm dead. <laughs> so graphs, there are some very interesting problem about graphs. One of them being the shortest path. And then there's a dexterous theorem. Or dexterous algorithm, I think. Oh, didn't mean to do this. And it's like, I think it's, it's depth first search. I still don't remember. Like, it's very hard to do breath first search. And it's very hard for me to think about how a computer do a breath first search. Because it makes more sense that you do depth first search instead. Do I take flight? I'm taking flight. <laughs> what is this madness? <laughs> Screw me, I guess. No, tech, no taking flight. Whew. Okay, I managed to clean up our base. Fly? <laughs> when it up, take flight. Uh oh. Good luck, whoever jumped to that. Two people. And they're all dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Get safe. Oh, got him. A torpedo moment. And they have a DC. <laughs> we are indeed. 